welcome back. It's me, Daniel, VintageMagic.com. I got something really insane. I just played Paul. Paul, how's it going? Good, how are you? From New York. Paul, guys, is what I call the connoisseur of what the original Magic cards are. This is all alpha, old school 60, right? Yeah, wow. old school 60. But what's interesting here is, guys, you notice there's no plastic stuff around here. No sleeves at all. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I, mean, I know it's that right? <laughs> it's insane, right? It's yeah, insane. insane. Uh, I've never seen this in my life, guys. I've, I've played some old school, but I see some crazy decks, but this is insane. Paul, why don't you tell us the genesis of why you did all this? What's the, the theory behind this? Uh, well, plastic causes cancer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't want Sarah to have cancer. No. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> well, she has, she has some plastic there. I yeah, mean, yeah. You know, silicone. She's, she's got it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I have the whole deck in alpha and realized that I could do it on sleeve and it was alpha. Um, I have run it with like other cards that aren't in alpha, in which case I'm going to sleeve it. But this is uh, something I can run, something I can throw in this. Oh, by the way, yeah, show that. Deck box. Speak a little louder for me, Paul. This is um, an alpha deck box. No, no barcode on the bottom. Notice very carefully, guys. So the whole thing is alpha, even alpha rule book, right? Oh yeah. It has to be, are you sure it's alpha rule book? Cause oh yeah. Page number four, right? Page number one. Page number no. one. That's what oh, it page is. Page number four. Yeah. Four. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what here. Warzel. Warzel. Warzel felt the the tails of telltale prickling. Telltale prickling. Her neck. Oh my god. <laughs> So Paul, really, so really, this is so. So tell everybody your passion for old school. Why do you love it so much? Uh, I love old school. I would say not even for these cards. Um, I love it for the people, and I think that old school is probably. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's like a second family, and I uh, have met some of the coolest people. I continue to meet the coolest people, and the cards are something, uh, the cards are like the lubrication for the social fabric uh, of all people who are drawn to it, and so it's sort of something I've realized, like, you meet up and you can play cards, and uh, you can play the game, but really it's like, the point is that you're meeting people and uh, making friends for yeah. forever. That's um, awesome, man. And you are part of the Sisters of the Flame group here in New York. Yeah, Sisters of the Flame. You know, I really love what you said there. These cards represent history. It's the first edition. But that's not really what it's all about. Because the cards only do so much. It's the... It's the games and the memories, like even today, like you and I just met today, after all this time playing, like talking online, you just get to meet someone from the community, that's that's the best part. Yeah. yeah. You got any, uh, a, like a cool story you want to share, like of, of meeting people or just playing old school just over the years? Uh, I don't know, I've, had, I've been very fortunate to get to travel, so I've traveled to... Uh, to meet the London guys, the Brothers of Fire. Nice. Uh, play with them. Um, I don't know, there's been a lot of good tournaments, or Eternal Weekends, uh, which is like a 150 people tournament. Um, we just started hosting our own tournaments here in New York. Uh, and I've met people through that. I've met all these people here. So, I don't know, I don't have a specific story, but I do feel like the people that I've met have become friends. Yeah, that's like yeah. family, basically. Yeah. Yeah, family. Yeah. Guys, what do you guys think? Do you guys agree with Paul? Do you guys think that the stories of these cards, I mean, uh, these cards have had a lot of love. I mean, there's a lot of love here, right? A lot of history. Is there a specific card here that talks to you, speaks to you as your favorite card? The card you've always enjoyed the most? Not necessarily the most expensive, oh, but yeah. what's, what's um, your favorite card here? Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I would honestly say, like, maybe the Shivan. Um, I actually have my phone here. Uh, this is my first Shivan that I ever oh, got. Oh, my God. Um, Hold that up. That's my Shivan from when I was, like, 12 years old. Hold on a second. Guys, you guys see this gem mint playware? This is, like, what you say, start to revise, right? Yeah. This is the 1994 gem mint yeah. Played. I actually. This is I, the original one you own. I actually found this on the ground outside of my middle school. And, uh, <laughs> I 
I talked to everybody at school that was in the magic group that I was in, and I was like, is this anybody's? Like, did somebody drop their shivin? And some, everyone was like, no, it wasn't mine. Um, and so this is my shivin uh, from back then. So to get the this shivin uh, is nice, but this one is better, the the better. I think. Oops. <laughs> what a great story. How were you introduced, by the way? You say you were starting to revise. What was your uh, just starting of Magic? Um, it was like the older kids at school that played it. Um, and there was a bunch of us that were like seven years old, like watching these older guys play it. And uh, I wanted the cards, and I got the cards, and I had no idea how to play. Um, and it was probably a good year or two that I was awful at it and didn't understand the game. And I still don't. So it's been uh, like 20 years of not understanding the game and, and losing pretty badly. Um, but but it's not about that, is it? About the winning part. No. You just you just like the stories. I just and love the... playing it. And uh, I think I mean looking at the deck too, you can see like it's a lot of single kind of like powerful cards. Yeah. So like single me, like, creatures. I love playing. Yeah. There's like one Shivan, one Sarah. I've got these like two Mahamodis. I love I like, like that. It's a nice touch. Yeah. It's a little throw in there. But I love the big cards like Fork. Um, that can, this like, was like back in the day. The Revise was the, like it, that was the big card. Remember? Yeah, yeah. I love big, big spells that can change the game. So um, right. Yeah, I think that that's my philosophy. I notice you like the greens too. You got some green action here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really it's a rug deck that's splashing white and black. I right. Would say. Um, so you got a cyborg. Yeah, show us your sideboard. Yeah. This is the sideboard. Um, he's kind of against mono black decks. These are for mono white decks. Uh, I've got the other two disenchants. Uh, and the other two swords. You, so you didn't want to be more efficient in the beginning. Uh, you wanted to have more of the creatures out first, right? Is that, yeah, yeah, that's you the idea. Play, yeah. And then uh, three red blasts. Sorry, three blue blasts, four red blasts. Um, That's so awesome. So it's got a little bit for everything. Yeah. Yeah. And this deck is like a little bit of everything. It's not uh, tuned to be good, uh, <laughs> tuned to be like a killer in any way, but it's very much like uh, a Swiss army knife. Like it can handle a little bit of everything. Right, right. That's the idea. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, I really I really appreciate this. There's a lot of history. Man, guys, I, I'm kind of getting a little... Um, Nostalgic here, seeing this and then his original Shivan. Let me see that one more time, guys. Guys, you guys have any uh, good stories to share in the comments below? Please do so. We're here at the uh, Bearded Dra the Bearded Dragon. Yeah. Uh, in what city is this, by the way? Uh, Bernardsville. Bernardsville, New Jersey. Just playing a 16-person tournament today, old school. Uh, it's really fun. I've, I've really had a great time coming to New York. Uh, Paul, thanks for sharing that story, yeah, man. No problem. Um, I just want to tell you guys. Let me, let me, Paul, come here. Stand here. Come here. Excuse me. Get you on camera. Sorry. I want to tell you guys. Paul, Paul's a great guy. He is. Uh, um, he is someone that really appreciates old school, appreciates the community. Um, I. I can't tell you. Like I've met a lot of different people in my life, but you're you're by far one of the most passionate. Like like the reason why you love old school, is, you know, like uh, uh, with this magic in general is the reason. It's just, it, we relate. It's like we do this for like the meeting the people. Yeah. It isn't. I mean the money is part of the money. It costs money to do it, but it, it really is just going to cost as little or as much as you want. It. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, like, honestly, like, I mean, I like, like, I like green the best. Yeah. I like playing with the green creatures, and no one else wants to play green creatures, yeah. but I like that. But, you know, you know, obviously we play more competitively with better decks. You lose out, but I just, I think this is awesome, man. You really shared a really amazing story, and I, um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right, guys, well, I'm going to put the link below of the group. Uh, it's called the Sisters of Flame in New York. They hold, like, what, two every Tuesday? Yeah, we have yeah. Uh, meetups every Tuesday. We're doing tournaments here and there. So. Yeah, all over yeah. New York and stuff like that. And uh, they combine with New Jersey also. Paul, thanks again. I'll pan one more time. What do you guys think? Thumbs up? For sure. Absolute thumbs up. What a wonderful piece of history. Um, obviously, Paul is absolutely insane losing no sleeves, but that doesn't matter because uh, he enjoys it. And honestly, guys, 
These are all played, so when he you you riffle shuffle like once, right? Once or twice? Yeah. It doesn't times. really affect the cards. Yeah. yeah. That much, yeah. Maybe I lose five bucks every time I shuffle. I don't know. <laughs> five bucks. Yeah. Five bucks to shuffle. Yeah. Five bucks to shuffle. Smart price to pay. Small price to pay. Yeah. All right. Thanks again, Paul, for your yeah. time. Cheers. You guys enjoy. And remember, it's all about the nostalgia. This is his first Shivan Dragon. What a memory. Thanks again, Paul.